OK, welcome. So what I have here is x squared minus x to minus 2 divided by 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 divided by x squared minus x minus 12 divided by 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Wow. OK, so we've gone through a lot of processes. And I think by now, you've kind of under, understood that the process of dividing is not really too much. All we're really doing is reciprocating and multiplying and then just simplifying out what terms we have. But this problem is a little bit more difficult than what we've done, and because we have to simplify every single expression that we have, if it's in the numerator or in the denominator. Now, some of these aren't going to be so bad by our factoring techniques, but some of these are going to be a little bit more difficult because our a is not equal to 1. So rather than going through it step by step, I am going to explain how I'm going to do it, but I am going to do more of a, a, a quicker uh, factoring way. So anyways, our dividend, we're always just going to simplify this. And then when we simplify this, we're going to make sure we change this to a multiplication problem and uh, reciprocate. All right, so anyways, let's go and do this right here. So I have, let's simplify this because it's trinomial. So we know we're going to have to factor. So I have x squared minus x minus 2. And I need to determine, since my a is 1, I need to determine what two values multiply to give me negative 2, but then add to give me positive 1. Well, I can factor that to x minus 2 times x plus 1. Okay, That one wasn't so bad. This one's getting a little bit more difficult. So we have 2x squared minus 5x plus 2. All right. Now our a is not 1. So we can't just say what two numbers multiply give me 2 but and then add to give me negative 5. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Remember, when we do FOIL, we always say the first. So we're always going to multiply our first two terms. So we notice that our first two terms have to multiply to give us 2x squared. So a lot of times what I like to do is just write out then, well, my first two terms then have to be 2x and x. They have to be. There's no other way unless we're going to get into fractions when we don't want to do that. Now we know our last two terms have to be positive 2. So it could either be 2 and 1 or negative 2 and negative 1. And the way that we can determine which one it is is we know that when we multiply our inner and our outer terms, they have to add up to negative 5. All right? So if I did, let's see here, um, we know, well, first of all, we know they can't be positive because they all have to add up to a negative number. So our positive terms can't be right. So it has to be negative. Now, if I do negative 2x times negative 2, that gives me a negative 4. Plus x times negative 1, that also gives me, um, that gives me a negative 5, which is my middle term. So therefore, that's my correct factored, uh, factored form. So I'll just write that in there, actually. 2x minus 1 over x minus 2. And the only other factored form we could have had was x minus 2 times x minus 1. And now that doesn't work because, yes, 2x times x gives us 2x squared. And negative 2 times 2 gives us a positive 2. But when we add our outer and our inner, 2x times negative 1 is negative 4x. Negative 2 times x is negative x, which is negative 2x, which is a negative 4x when you add them. So that why, that's why that does not work. OK, so now we, re we multiply and we reciprocate. All right, so over here in my numerator is now going to become my denominator. And I look at this, and since a is 1, I like factoring these problems now. Because you can just see what two numbers multiply to give me negative 12, but then add to give me a positive, uh, negative 1. So therefore, I can say that's going to be x minus 4 times x plus 1. Okay, We like those problems. However, we have another one here that's going to be our, um, when our a is equal to 2. But that's OK. It's very similar to the one we just did. All right, We know that my two factors have to start with 2x and x. Now, my other two terms have to be, they have to multiply to give me negative 3. So the only two options I have is negative 3 and positive 1, or positive 3 and negative 1. And then we just need to determine by adding our outer and our inner what are going to add up to a positive 5x. So we know that the larger of the two multiplications has to be positive if our middle term is going to add to a positive. So therefore, I know I'm going to have to multiply the 2x times my positive factor of 3. Because remember, I want to add them to make them positive. So I don't want to have 2x times negative 3. That will give me negative 6. 6x, right? And that means I'm going to have a negative problem, negative number. I want it to be positive. So if that's positive, then that means that one has to be negative. And we can just double check that. Again, that goes to negative 3. That goes to 2x squared. When I combine my inner and my outer, 2x times 3 is 6x. Negative x times x is negative 1x. 6x minus x is positive 5x. So now let's write these in there. So I have 2x minus 1 over an x plus 3. Okay. 
Uh, so now what we can take a look at this is, oh, that is definitely not right. Negative 4, <laughs> sorry. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 12, but then add to give you negative 1? Well, it's going to be x minus 4 and x plus 3. Sorry about that. OK. So now we just need to take our terms and see which values in our numerator are, can be divided by the terms in the denominator. Well, that divides into 1. Those two divide into 1. And those divide into 1, leaving me with my final answer of x plus 1 divided by x minus 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you divide your rational fractions. Thanks.